Okay guys, here's what we use when we're out in the field and we're cleaning up. We use this Legacy a Clean Kitchen Cleaner. Okay, it's uh, super, super awesome stuff. It just doesn't leave any noxious chemicals behind. You can wipe it up. It's incredible. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to clean the top of this. So what I do in the field... We'll pressure wash that up and it'll be totally clean. Hi guys, Greg Sweet here, Kettle Core Machine. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to show you how to clean your, your equipment super, super well. We're downtown at our new shop, and uh, I'm just excited to show you how to actually get your stuff clean. Okay, first thing you want to do, make sure you put some gloves on, all right? Uh, we use heavy-duty, thick rubber gloves when we clean our stuff because we're going to use some, some products. Um, and most of our products are totally organic, but there is one product that isn't, and that's the oven cleaner. So you want to make sure that you're... Uh, safe and use the little gloves. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get some Fulton Oven Cleaner. This is the best oven cleaner I've ever seen, ever used. And we get it through the Amway Corporation. It's absolutely fantastic. This company actually surprises me so much with their products. Every product that we call them on and say, hey, I need to do this, I need to do that, they're totally helpful. And so they've steered me always in the right direction to get the right products. Not only that, but they're environmentally friendly, they're safe, and all that good stuff, which is really important for the environment, and especially when you're going green and especially when you're fighting Parkinson's. You don't want to be around all that crappy chemical stuff, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to go ahead and take care of your sifting and cooling table. What you'll find out, this sifting and cooling table is actually being sold. They bought it used. Uh, but one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to clean it up. Check this out right here. Okay, now what you're going to see here is you're going to see a lot of, see that scum right there? That's all. that's just built up on the side here. And so what we're gonna do is any of the sugar that's built up, anytime you get sugar built up, or that brown stuff on your white bins, you can use oven cleaner and it takes it right off like a snap. So we shake this up a little bit like this, okay? Spray it on this, spray it on this. Big, huge buildup of uh, sugar and salt and everything that's on the, uh, the actual sifting tables. On the downside, okay, see right here, this is on the back side, and you'll see a little stuff, a little bunch of junk here. That's the first thing we do. Now we're going to come over here and I'll show you what we use on the kettle corn machine, okay? So, first thing you see is here we got a used kettle corn machine, bottom's all black, total standard procedure, right? These things get black as black gets. What we're going to do here. Check this out. Okay, this is pretty standard stuff too. See how this is all black here? This is some more like oil that's dripped on it. Some, it looks like somebody put a little, uh, one of those blue tops on there and melted down. We've got a bunch of stuff down here. It needs to come off. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with this first. Okay, see how it does. Any of this black stuff inside. Now one thing about the oven cleaner is you don't want to hit it on a brand new machine because it will take the shine right off the aluminum. Um, but an older machine, it's, you know, it's a little bit duller, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. So that's basically the use for the oven cleaner. So get yourself a case of this stuff. This will last you all year. One case should last you a whole year. Okay guys, uh, this is the, the stuff that we use a lot of. Okay, we use this with hot soapy water, pressure washer, uh, mitts. It's called LOC. It's, um, it's a liquid organic cleaner. It's totally safe for the environment, totally safe for people. Um, and it uh, won't hurt anybody if they happen to, you know, get it in their mouth or get it on them. It's, it's absolutely organic. It works absolutely fantastic. Make sure that you get a couple, two or three bottles of this stuff. Uh, we go through probably at every, after every show, we go through about a half a bottle of this, cleaning out our whole stuff. Just making sure it's all clean, spick and span, ready for the next show, guys.
wire wheel uh, with the drill and just kind of clean up the rest of that black stuff and Okay guys, we'll use a bungee cord sometimes or we'll use a, uh, a ratchet and uh, what we do is we're going to use this bungee cord here and we're going to kind of tie this thing open like this. Strap it there. Okay guys, this is our old machine that we're uh, just cleaning up here and uh, one of the steps that we're doing, see all this stuff, this is all where oil's dripped down and just kind of got nasty and the heat heats it up and turns it all brown. So I got ourselves a little wire wheel here of spray with some oven cleaner right here just in the back because it's already dull and I'll go ahead and rub it in with a wire wheel here. So this is what I'll do here. Now this is one of our machines and our machines we just absolutely uh, just take them through the ringer because we want to see if uh, there's anything else that we need to do to improve them for you. And uh, so this, this machine's probably done close to, I don't know, maybe five to 7,000 bags on it uh, this last year. Still works fantastic, um, and uh, we just gotta clean it up a little bit better, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so we'll get that all cleaned up, and uh, we'll hit it, hit it with some uh, other cleaner, a bit more other cleaner, and we will see how it looks. And let's check out the bowl here. Check out the bowl. The bowl's coming pretty clean, okay? We still got a little, couple little things here and there. So watch this. With this, with the pressure washer, it'll come even cleaner. Okay guys, we got a couple more little spots in there, but uh, it's coming really clean. Looks like it's uh, just about ready. Polish her up and it's ready for cooking. Same thing with the Sephidia Cooling Table. We're going to go ahead and pressure wash this off. Look how easy it is. Bucket of LLC, wash it down, clean it up, ready to go.